Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is an energy of someone who's very attractive, very confident. This is someone who is really drawing in a lot of people. So if you are being seen this way, someone is really seeing you as like a hot commodity, like you are very attractive, and they feel like you get a lot of attention, you have a lot of admirers. Someone really can't resist you and their attraction to you, it's more than just physical, you know, it's it's who you are, like the way you carry yourself, your energy, your aura, your vibe, it's just very attractive, like this person is drawn to you. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Two of Cups, Water Energy, we have Hermit, Virgo Energy, and we have the Wheel of Fortune, Fixed Sign Energy. Okay, so yeah, someone really is thinking a lot about you. This person wants to be your partner with the Two of Cups. They feel like you guys would go really well together. They feel like they've really developed deep, sincere feelings for you. And it's possible that this has happened over time. You know, this could be someone who's used to being on their own with the Hermit being here. Like this is not someone who was looking for love, but there's something about you where they just felt an instant connection. And over time, their connection to you has really started to deepen. Like they feel pulled towards you and they feel like they need to take action towards you. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, they really feel like you are a blessing in their life. You came out of nowhere or this connection or their feelings for you were kind of unexpected and sudden. But they really feel like you are the one. So let's clarify these cards. Cancer. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So yeah, this person wants to stand out. They want to beat the competition. If you have other admirers or options, they want you to focus on them. If they are the ones who are embodying this Queen of Wands energy, where they have a lot of people who want them, with the Seven of Cups in the reverse, it shows that they may have these options, but they only want you. Like you stand out, you are cut from a different cloth. You are their two of cups, you know, like they, they, they would happily drop anybody for you. Like they would choose you over everyone. Okay, so let's see. We have the eight of cups, water energy. The queen of cups, water energy. And we have the six of swords, air energy. So it does look like this is someone who's having to leave something behind in order to be with you. And they're happily making that decision. They're walking away from their old life, their old lifestyle. If this is someone who was something like a bachelor or someone who was playing the field, they're walking away from that because they found love. You know, like their heart is leading them to you. Um, and they, they associate you with peace. They associate you with uh, compassion, love. And they feel like it's real. Like they feel like they won't find another you anywhere. No one else is on your level one of you makes a million of them you know there's that kind of feeling like you're different you you have made this person want to commit fully and they are taking you very seriously they are giving you their cup of love you know and this is not someone who's you know desperate for a relationship you know this is someone who actually quite enjoys their single life like this is someone who enjoyed in the past being you know available to entertain 
multiple options or even just really enjoyed having their solitude and they're leaving that behind because they feel like being with you is worth more than anything like it it's it it's better than that you know and they really are ready to move forward and to move towards you okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you cancer We have nothing will come of this situation. Void of course moon. Okay, so this person is very sure about you. This person wants this to work out. You may not, it's almost like you may not see this coming or you, you may not be ready, you know, but this is someone who's going to be all in for you. Let's see. Yeah, we have it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So you may not trust this person or you may see this person as like a player or judge them by their past. But with these cards coming up here, it shows that this person has genuine intentions with you. Like this is someone who is genuinely fallen for you. Like they're following their hearts towards you and they are not trying to keep you as an option with the seven of cups in the reverse, they have dropped other options. There's no other options. It's only you. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have unanimity and harmony. He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. Yeah, they just want a one-on-one -on -one with you. They want an exclusive relationship where it's just you guys. You're focusing on each other, being in harmony. Yeah, this is someone who's ready for that kind of relationship with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Cancer. Okay, we have surrender defensiveness defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate in a more empowered way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a clear non-defensive response okay so that's what i'm seeing for you cancer i hope you have a really really good day cancer bye cancer